Okay, hello everyone. My name is Jacob. Today we're going to study Access 6, page 105. Okay, are you ready? Great, let's start. Please open your student books to 10F. So, today we're going to study about camping. And we're going to read a short story about camping. And we will study a little grammar about the modal verbs must and mustn't. Okay, let's start. Are you ready? Here are seven words about camping. So. Look at the pictures of the people in your student book. What are they doing? They are camping. So, do you like camping? Have you ever been camping? And where do you want to go camping? So, for me, I have been camping one time. I like camping and hmm, I want to go camping in the forest. Yes. Okay, here are some words about camping. Number one, here. This is a container. It's a container. See, you put food in your container when you go camping. And your food will be very clean and you can eat it. Container. Okay, number two. Look at this. What's that? It is a whistle. Can you say whistle? With so. In camping, you need a whistle because if you see a dangerous animal like a bear or a tiger, you can blow the whistle and someone can help you. Whistle. Okay. Number three. Look at this. This is bottled water. Bottled water. Here. In camping, you need some bottled water to drink because you shouldn't drink the river and the lake water. It's not good. You can get sick. Okay, number four. Look at this. These are plastic bags. Pla stick bags. See, there are four plastic bags in the picture. In camping, you need plastic bags for your garbage or litter. Okay? Don't throw the litter on the ground. It's not clean. Okay. Number five. Do you see these? What are they? Do you know? They are matches. Everyone say matches. Matches. You need matches in camping to make a fire. With a fire, you can cook food 
and you can be hot, not cold. Okay, number six. Look at that. Can you see the picture? This is a compass. Come, pus, compass. You try. Okay. A compass helps you know where to go. You can walk in the forest, and you will not get lost. Okay. Compass can help you. And lastly, number seven. Here, this is a tent. Tent. In camping, you usually sleep in a tent. Okay, a tent is like like a house you sleep in. Okay, now let's review the seven words. Number one, what is this? It's a container. Two, what's this? It is a whistle. Number three, what's this? It's bottled water. Four. What are they? Well, it's a plastic bag. Number five. What are these? They are matches. And number six. What's that? Yes, you're right. It's a compass. And finally, number seven. What's this? It's a tent. Okay, now faster. Container. Whistle. Bottled water. Plastic bag. Matches. Compass. And tent. Okay, we finished studying the new words. Okay, very good. We're going to play a little game. Three, two, one. All right. What is this? All right. Tent. Bottled water. Compass. Whistle. Container. Matches. What is that? Number seven. Do you know? All right. Three, two, one. It's plastic bag. Did you know? Okay. Let's play again. Right. Number two. Now, what is this? Okay, compass, whistle, container, matches, plastic bag, bottled water. What's that? Right. Three, two, one. It's. Tent. And last number three. Okay. Here. What's this? Compass, container, bottled water, 
plastic bag, matches, and tent. What's that? Do you know? Okay. Three, two, one. Is it a compass? No, compass is here. Is it matches? No, matches are here. It's a whistle. Okay, the game's finished. Now let's read the story. All right, everyone. Now we'll read the short story in the student book about camping. First, I'm going to read the story. It is here. Exercise one. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. The tent's up. Now let's have some fun. No. Wait a minute, Simon. Where are the whistle and compass? They're here. And here are the water and matches, and the plastic bags for our garbage. Don't worry, Tom. Everything's okay. Later. What's that noise? Do you see? What animal is it? Yes, it's a bear. It's very scary. Simon, why isn't the food in containers? Stop asking questions, Tom. Just run. Okay, that's the story. So the bear was hungry, and the bear ate the food because the food wasn't in a container. So their camping was very dangerous. Now, I want you to read the story again, and then watch the video about camping. All right, here is the video about camping. All right, now you finished watching the video. Let's answer four questions about camping. Here are the questions. Number one: What should you take when you go camping? What do you need? Number two, what clothes should you wear? What clothes, like a, a t-shirt, a hat? What clothes are good for camping? Three, should you drink water from lakes? Can you drink the lake water? And four, where should you put your rubbish or garbage? Rubbish and garbage are the same. The same thing. Okay. Are you finished? Good. Let's answer the questions. So number one, what should you take when you go camping? You should take a lot. You should take a tent, plastic bags, bottled water. Compass. You should also take、uh, containers for your food. Okay. So you should take one a tent, two whistle, three. Compass. Four. Bottle of water. Five. Matches. Six. Plastic bags. 
and seven container containers for food. Okay, number two. What clothes should you wear? The answer is you should take warm clothes, clothes that make you feel not cold, because sometimes camping is very cold. Okay. You should take warm. W a r m. It's like、um, hot clothes that make you feel hot. Clothes. So, what are some warm clothes? Is a t-shirt warm? No, because a t-shirt it makes you feel cold. How about、uh, a shirt or a jacket? Yes, a jacket is warm clothes. A jacket, a sweater,、uh, a scarf, pants, jeans—they are all warm clothes. Okay, three. Should you drink water from lakes? The answer is no. No, you shouldn't. It's not clean and it isn't healthy. You should drink bottled water, not lake water. So the answer is no. You shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. And finally, number four. Where should you put your rubbish or garbage? The answer. You should put your rubbish in a plastic bag. Okay. So you should put your rubbish in a plastic bag. Good. Now that is the end of the questions. Next, we're going to study about grammar. Look at exercise two in your student book. We're going to study about the modal verbs must and mustn't. Firstly, how can we use these words? In a sentence, we use these structures with must and mustn't. So, firstly, here, in a positive sentence, the structure is subject plus must plus verb. For example, a subject can be I. I. Must and a verb. Listen. I must listen. Okay. So this has to be a present simple verb. We can't use a present progressive verb. Here is an example. I must listen. This is okay. But I must. I must listening. So verb with ing. That's not okay. We can't say it. I must listen. Good. I must listening. Not good. Okay. Next, a negative sentence. Again, start with the subject like I, you, he, she, it. Then, mustn't. So, let's say this word, mustn't. Can you? Mustn't. Then, a verb. So, an example is, you mustn't 
eat or she mustn't run. Finally, let's look at a question. To make a question with must and mustn't, start with must or mustn't, then the subject, I, you, he, she, it, then the verb. For example, must I talk or mustn't you run? Okay, so those are the structures of sentences with must and mustn't. So let's talk about when, when do we use must and mustn't. We use it to talk about things you should or shouldn't do. So some things that are good to do, we use with must. Some things that are very bad to do, we shouldn't do them, we use mustn't. So uh, here is um, an example. Let's talk about school. What is good to do in school? What must we do in school? And what is bad in the school? What's something we shouldn't do or mustn't do in school? So let's look at some sentences here about school. A is I must or mustn't listen to the teacher. So listen to the teacher, is it good? Yes, it is. So we must. I must listen to the teacher. Okay, B. I must or mustn't be naughty. Be a naughty student, a bad student. Must or mustn't. That's mustn't because be naughty is not good. We mustn't do this in school. And C. I must or mustn't listen to music in class. So the teacher is teaching and you listen to music. Is it good? No, it isn't. So C mustn't. You mustn't listen to music in class. Okay, now I want you to look at exercise three here in your student book. There are some sentences about camping, safe camping. I want you to write three sentences with must and mustn't about these sentences. So make three sentences with must and mustn't. Write the sentences in your notebook. All right, now we finished the lesson today. So thank you for listening, everyone, and have a great day. Goodbye, class.